Happy Valentine's Day. We are here with producer extraordinaire Joe Solo, who produced Hi. Macy Gray and other artists. He's going to tell us about the psychology of a love song. We're going to think about that and take a short break. We'll be right back. Sure, you've heard plenty of love songs today, but we've got just one more for you before we wrap up Valentine's That's Day. That's right. Tonight, we sent Dave Malkoff to discover the brain science behind what makes a great love song. Even when it's not Valentine's Day, there's just something about a love song that can turn anyone into Al Green. So in love. But behind the passion and behind the music, whatever you want to do, there's a science to this stuff. I love, you like a love, song, baby. love songs don't just spring to life. They're engineered. That, that took about 12 hours to create that, by the way. Engineered by songwriters and producers to mess with your mind. Hey, my name is Heather. Hi, Heather. Good to meet you. I'm Joe. In a good way. My name's Joe Solo. I'm the producer who developed Macy Gray. In fact, Joe co-wrote this song. We found him teaching a class at the big Nam music show in Orange County. He was teaching those little tricks that make a great love song. A good love song is just a universal message. Rule number one. Keep it simple. There's certain concepts that seasoned songwriters know. We're always on sky. Nothing gets in the way. Don't get too specific. If you're writing a song and it's too ultra personal, not as many people are going to relate to it. I met a girl on J-Day, was looking for another playmate. That's why Online Sweetheart is a bad love song. It's about this guy's experience, not everyone's. Now back to Elvis. See? So you draw from experience, but you expand it out to have a universal message. Simple, but it's effective. Rule number two. Multi-dimensional dynamic juxtaposition, which is a fancy way of saying blend opposites together. Those opposites make the song catchy. Solo at the beginning. Lying here with you so close to me. Duet in the chorus. Just a shot in the dark. Quiet from the start. So this song, Faithfully by Journey, it starts really mellow, just a single piano, right? Whoa. So finally at the end, you know, it's like, ah, faithfully. And rule number three. Don't tell me, show me. For example, you might say something like, I broke up with her today. Well, okay, I've told you what happened. But in a show me example would be, I mentioned those words and tears rolled down her face. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts and stays. Good theory, spot on writing, and a little magic will make a love song that will last for generations. And that's all part of the production process. In Anaheim, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. And can win you six Grammys at that, right? The anatomy isn't as romantic as the song. I, it's actually quite humorous <laughs> more than anything. All right. But I see the point. Absolutely. Good stuff. Thank you, Dave. It's